PJs, welcome back to another video. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe down below to become part of my PJ squad, which is always awesome. And as always, comment down below what you guys would like to see next. Or if you just want to hop down there and say hello, I'll be answering as many comments as I can. So if you guys could not tell already, I do have a new, like, filming table that I'm on. I recently purchased a desk to actually film on, so I'm not using end tables anymore, which is great. I know that might excite a lot of you and you guys might want to see a room tour, but I promise I will show you guys one. It's just going to be a while because I'm not completely done with it, but I am so excited for this desk. It's a lot higher and it looks a lot nicer, so I really hope you guys like it, but if the angles are just kind of a little weird, that's because I'm trying to still work out how I want everything to look, so just bear with me until then and um, yeah. The other thing I wanted to really quickly mention is I wanted to get your guys' opinion on something. I've been thinking for a while now that I've kind of wanted to do a voiceover instead. It sounds a little neater and that way I'm not really saying um and I don't really make mistakes or anything like that. And also it might make just filming just a little easier. I'm not really sure. But in order to do so, I do have to purchase like the premium version of the editor that I use. And that does cost quite a bit of money. So if you guys... If the majority of you guys would like voiceovers instead, do let me know because that will help me make my decision. But without further ado, let's get right into the video. So today I have these three slimes that I'm going to be reviewing. These are all from Walmart and they are store-bought slimes. A few guys, a few of you guys have wanted to see some store-bought slimes lately. So I decided to pick some up when I was at Walmart. So yeah, we're going to see if they're good. Starting off, we have this Play-Doh Flome Slime, and I have tried one before. I don't think I ever filmed it, but I could be wrong, and I tried a purple one. It wasn't honestly the greatest in the world, but I'm hoping that this one's better. Like, I, I know it sounds dumb, but I've heard that the colors do make a difference, so I decided to pick up this blue one. So sadly this one isn't really much better than the purple one that I had. It's kind of just beads pretty much. As you guys can see it's like pretty much there's like no stretch and it's just really hard to play with. Also it does kind of have fallout every once in a while. Not too bad but it's still I guess an inconvenience. I do like the color. It's really pretty and it does feel nice on my hands but slime wise it's not the greatest. Once you start warming up to it it will stretch just a little bit better but not too great. Um, so if you guys remember my ranking for these I guess is a little easier than homemade slimes because store-bought slimes are just really hard to do because they have to have really good shelf life and they're not actually made out of glue and stuff like that so I do kind of rate them a little nicer but this one I'm still gonna have to give like a max of three and a three out of five pajamas because it's really hard to play with pretty much what the only thing you can do is kind of just mold it like this Moving on, we have another slime by Play-Doh, and this is a Lil Charms slime. I have seen, like, one review on this, but I don't think it was that great. I don't even remember who it was, but I decided to try it out.
base of this slime honestly surprised me a lot because it actually almost feels like a homemade slime like it's really good it has really good stretch and it's like a milky clear color which is really nice and it doesn't stick to my hands it's really smooth it's great and uh, I decided to add like all the add-ins that they gave but obviously that might have been a little of a mistake because they don't really like to stay in very well it's not too bad they don't really fall out like a ton but at the same time it's enough to make it a little annoying but the base is great like if I based it the score out of just the slime part it would definitely be five out of five but because of the fallout i'm going to give it four out of five pajamas if you guys ever decide to get this one i would definitely recommend adding like less of the add-ins or just keeping the slime by itself because it's really nice And the last slime for today's video is from Compound Kings, and it's this Dots slime, which I've never seen reviewed before or anything, so I decided to give it a shot, and Compound Kings is kind of a hit or miss for me, so we'll see. I do really quickly want to just tell you guys like a little tip that I've learned when shopping for store-bought slime. So obviously for this, I don't really have a spe specification on what I'm getting, but if you guys are looking for something that isn't really... Um, like tacky and kind of just not stretchy at all all you have to do is hit a container like this and the more it jiggles the more putty like it's going to be that's just something I learned now with floams obviously it's different because they're not gonna really jiggle but when you have a pure slime like this if you hit it and it kind of jiggles back and you can feel like vibrations the more you feel that the more it's going to be not stretchy and just really not a good slime so I thought I'd mention that just in case you guys wanted to know and it might make your shopping experience a little better so that way you don't waste your money So honestly, I think my hopes were a little too high for this slime. I didn't like factor in the fact that there's like dots in it and they're going to come off on my hands, but they're coming off like a lot. And you guys could kind of see at the beginning, I was trying to mix the beads in and they kind of fell out. I think about half of them fell out. So I decided to keep them out of the slime. And I think that was the right decision because they're already struggling to stay in. So I think keeping half of them out was the right move but it's it's an okay store-bought slime. If you guys have ever tried Compound Kings, you're gonna like see a pattern in their textures. They're kind of like, kind of like jellies. It's got like a different texture to their slimes, especially their clear slimes, but it's a really interesting texture that I really can't explain, but you can feel it. Um, and it's pretty much just like all the other Compound King ones, like that are just not really stretchy and they're kind of slick like you kind of just slip off of them but I mean for a store-bought slime it's not bad I do like the fact that it's scented it's just a really nice sweet scent which is a nice bonus and it is a really pretty slime but there's not much you can do with it and it kind of makes a mess so I'm going to give this one a three out of five pajamas not bad but not great either
So with that, that is the end of the video, and I really hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if there's other store-bought slimes you guys would like to see, or if there's other just slime shops you guys would like to see, and I'd just love to see your recommendations. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and with that, I am signing off, so I'll see you guys in the next one.